So the story I'm about to tell you is more like a Tyler Perry movie. Now, in New Orleans, Louisiana, the mayor, LaToya Cantrell, has not really been doing her job. She's been doing a lot of other stuff that the residents don't really like. Well, they have accused her of quiet quitting because she has failed to meet with important figureheads for like a year. Now, the vice chair organizer, Ellen Carter, who has worked alongside that of the mayor for three years, says, I've watched her just basically not come to work and work, right? Now, this is where the, the drama comes in. She's also been accused of having an affair with her police bodyguard since 2021. Now, that was discovered via divorce documents from the bodyguard's wife, naming a woman with the initials LC, Latoya Crantrell. All right. Moving right along, during a Mardi Gras uh, celebration, the mayor decided to flip off a float of riders and people are like, we don't really know what provoked it, but there's definitely footage of her doing it and saying some other unsavory things that are unbecoming for a mayor. Now, she was also accused of using $30,000 of taxpayers' money to take a trip to Europe. And so it sounds like Miss Cantrell has a lot of deviance going on. But as I was reading it, I'm like, hmm, well, she sounds kind of thuggish to me because the residents also said that they're afraid that she will retaliate against them. Now, some of the restaurants and other businesses in the area, they're like, we want to get involved and there's been a petition of 50,000 signatures garnered to get rid of her. But a lot of businesses are like, well, we want to get involved, but she retaliates against people. Like one restaurant owner said that he was fined for something crazy because he canceled an event that was, I guess, going to be like a campaign event for her. So he canceled it and he got hit with a fine. And he says that was in direct retaliation for canceling the event. And so... The other accusation is that the city of New Orleans is running like Gotham City now. Y'all know Gotham City from Batman is very dark and esoteric and there's a lot of creepy things going on. Now, it said that since 2019 to 2022, the crime rate has upticked 116% and that New Orleans was bested, if you will, by that of Jackson, Mississippi for being the most dangerous city or where the most homicides are. And so people are not happy. They're like buildings are dilapidated. There's holes in the windows and just a lot going on because the mayor has quietly quit. So it sounds like maybe she's still getting paid, but she just hasn't done the work. So anyway, we're going to follow the story to see what happens there. Will she be fired? I don't know. Stay tuned for next time. I don't know. I just wanted to throw that kind of little Batman reference in there. So anyway, <laughs> y'all tell me what you think of this. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.